Ali oh, hello. <laughs> I'm just me. I can't be, I don't copy anybody else. I wasn't playing to win. I wasn't following the camera. A lot of people were. A lot of people were cooking and cleaning because it would give them camera time. Oh, yeah. I didn't do that. Yeah. I was sitting watching everything. Yeah. yeah you were watching, weren't you? I was just watching people. Yeah. All craving to win. Who do you think wanted it the most? Who wanted it the most? I think Nikita wanted it the most. And he, he did a great, he was, he, he's a great role model. He's a great guy. Mm. And he's everything worked out. Mm. I found him very interesting mm. to talk to. Very interesting. Yeah. Um, do you think he's got a good future ahead of him? I think he's got an amazing future. Yeah. What do you think he can do? Like, I think he's going to do everything. I think he'll be a TV presenter. A children's TV presenter or something? I think he's going to do everything. Yeah. What did you think of Fern for a start, actually? Before I you? think she's okay. Really? I mean, she desperately wanted to win. Mm-hmm. She desperately wanted to win. I said she was wallpaper, but that's what she is. Mm. She doesn't give you anything. Yeah. Um, and was there anything that anyone on in the house had that they said to producers, if I let slip on this, I don't want I don't to think air. so. Everyone is too wary nowadays, and everyone is too woke, and everyone is too careful what they say, mm. and it all becomes bland and boring. I didn't want to be like that. I was just sitting there like an observer, mm. telling people what I thought of what's happening in there. Yeah. I wasn't I wasn't trying to be catty. Yeah. I just was reporting what I saw. Yeah. And I think you said once um that it's the Irish in you that you're just, you see things as they you say things as they are. Yeah. And you're quite, That's the way I was brought up. Yeah. To be honest and just say it like it is. Yeah. And I think that's very refreshing as you say everyone now is so woke, so careful, so they're boring. Scared of being cancelled. And they're bland. Mm. And they're playing to the camera. I think David and Nikita Played the camera most. Mm-hmm. And Fern. That's interesting. Um, and Ekin Sue, when she left, she said that the producers set her up. No, they didn't set her up. Yeah. No, they didn't set her up. She gave me coffee every morning. I don't know if they showed it or not on TV. Mm-hmm. She was playing a good game. My least favourite, the person I'd like least to, to hang out with, Gary is there. There was nothing to Gary, nothing. Right. And he wouldn't listen. He kept telling the same old joke all the time. Yeah. There was nothing to them. It's a, he shouldn't have been there, yeah. but he should have known that not to be there. Yeah. It's not his world. Ziki Ziki? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't get on great with her. Um, she's, she's nice, but she's, she's volatile. Mm. And when we were dressed up as king and queen, or with the king, um, we did have a major disagreement. That was totally real. Right, wasn't really? It? Nothing was staged. Yeah. I swear, I swear on my mother's life to you. Mm. Nothing was staged. And will you stay in touch with anyone? I will. I got... I got uh, Colton's number last night. Right. And I'd like to keep in touch with her. I didn't get her number. And um, I got a picture this morning from Lauren. She was interesting. Do you remember her? Yeah. She was interesting because she was gobby and she was funny. Yeah. And she was a bit like me, no filter. But that's a good thing. Mm. At least I know the real person. She's not pretending. Yeah. No, I agree. Um, so I, I said to you earlier off camera, um, there is a little shift in you from when I last saw you. Is you there? do seem a little bit subdued and a bit quieter. And I think, I know, I'm away from London, I'm away from all the... I don't believe it. And I'm happy living in Ireland. And I just want to enjoy my life. Mm. I'm not getting any younger. I just want to tra- travel the world. I just want to have a good time. Mm. I kind of see life for what it is. And, but did you enjoy the experience? Are you glad and you went in? I'm mainly glad. Right. It is scary though. What was your worst moment? Night time. So talk about that. You Night mentioned. time was scary to me. The dark and just lying there on your own and every, everything seems to be worse than it actually is. And when the lights go on, it feels better. But you're waiting for the lights to go on. And you said you were offered sleeping tablets but you didn't take them so you had insomnia. I did take sleeping tablets. Oh. I did take They weren't strong. Right. They, they, they only knocked you out for a few hours. I didn't take any stronger ones. Yeah, and so this is why you were having snoozes in the day. Yeah, but I couldn't get any stronger. I was trying. Yeah. The medics wouldn't give me. There's a lot of medics on this show, and they look after everybody. Mm. They really look after people on this show. And there's people all around the back of the scenes. I don't see them. I didn't see them one person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and you talked on the show about your secret sort of battle with blood cancer. Yeah, about well, three years ago. I didn't know. I just finished X Factor. I wasn't feeling good. I went to the hospital in Dublin, the matter, and they did all sorts of tests on me and they couldn't find anything. 
And eventually when the doctor said, I think I know what it is, it's Waldestrom uh, cancer. So he got me back in. When I heard cancer, I was scared and chemotherapy and everything. But I had like six sessions. So I'm in remission mm -hmm. and I'm fine at the moment. And I go and get tests maybe every six weeks or so. I get blood tests here. Yeah. I never looked, I just, just let them do it. It's a great hospital, but everybody should get tested. Yeah. I recommend that anybody reading this, if they're not feeling well, please get tested. It's worth it. It's not sore. Mm. And then you have, you know, you know you're fine. Yeah, I think when you spoke about it, um, Google searches uh, went up 18,200%, which is astonishing. So I think by proxy of that alone, you will have A, raised awareness and B, potentially saved well, lives. Well, I hope I did something. I hope it did something good. Yeah. It's genuine, 100%. Yeah. And what were your symptoms? I was just tired. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was after the X Factor. Mm. I thought I was just tired. I was just fatigued all the time. I didn't want to do anything. And they, they did so many tests on me. I did every test going. Mm. And they got nothing. And then one doctor called me back. Yeah. Well, the stuff. And it's fine. It's manageable. You just have to have to accept it. And it's, but it's, there's no cure is there from what I understand. No, but it's manageable. But it's if manageable, you take I take fine. tablets. Yeah. I feel absolutely fine. Great. Kate Middleton obviously I know. Very night. I mean you must did you have anything to say on it? It's something that you can I couldn't believe it. Sympathise with. And she's such a lady, she's such a great princess. Mm. And it just goes to prove you, you think people have everything, they don't. Yeah and, and cancer doesn't discriminate. Nothing, nothing. And the king is not well. You have to watch all the they're just humans at the end of the day. Mm. I met her last year at um, Chelsea Flower Show. Is you? Yeah, she was. I was talking to her. What was she like? Did she ask? She you? was an absolute, honestly. Yeah. She was a real lady. I got loads of pictures with her. Uh, what did she say? Did she ask you anything funny? I asked her, did she call her son after me? Right. <laughs> I did. did. I was cheeky say? with her. She just smiled back. She laughed. I'm sure she did. It was a lot more extreme, and I think the cameras everywhere. It did take a toll mentally on you. It did. There are, are there therapists or mental health people on board? To oh yeah, this is an amazing amount of people. And did you talk to anyone? When I you... had to, yeah. Yeah. i got to be honest with you. Yeah. I had to talk to two people, yeah. Right. And did you suffer from like anxiety or, or anything? I suffered from slight panic attacks. Really? It's because I was on my own. I was lying back God. in the dark and everything seemed worse than it actually was. The panic attack is the worst feeling, isn't it? I never had it. That. I didn't have panic attacks. It was like I was running out of breath. Oh. I said, what am I doing here? I started thinking of my family. I started thinking of my mother. I started thinking of everything. And I thought I was done. Yeah. And then when the morning comes, it's all, it's fine. <laughs> I appreciate the little things in life that I didn't appreciate three weeks ago. Like what? Like people. Really? Honestly. Mm. People, she knows. People, people, people. Nice food. Just, I'm in a lovely hotel. You know, the awful things happening around the world. I'm lucky. Mm. And I just have to realise that.